Hypocrite flops. Public through has the worst crisis emotion as people stopped believing what he says. Prince Harry's popularity has plummeted because people have stopped believing what he says, a royal commentator has claimed. The Duke of Sussex and Meghan Markle have been out in the US public eye over the past week during a tour of New York. However, Forbes columnist Guy Martin says Harry's standing in the UK has fallen because Brits no longer believe the royal. Mr. Martin wrote, Harry is tanking in the polls in Britain, not that that fact, itself, matters at all to the man or to his current endeavours, but the reason he's tanking is that the British have stopped believing what he says. It's not just the fact of his ungainly exit from royal life, although that has been a wounding process and continues to be one. In a YouGov poll in September, the positive opinion of Prince Harry saw a decrease from 43% in April to 34% now. Meghan also saw a further decline in her public rating with a fall from 29% in April and to 26%. Mr Martin said their work requires a tremendous amount of wheel spinning. He continued, the spike downwards for Harry is partly a result of the couple's flailing in all sorts of, admittedly admirable, charitable, directions at once, their engagement in mental health initiatives, pandemic relief, child welfare, among others, across a wide variety of platforms. In a word, there's a tremendous amount of wheel spinning required to get all these well-meant initiatives off the ground, as there would naturally be. But, things are a bit held to skelter. Prince Harry and Meghan's recent New York trip is expected to have helped boost their profile in the US. The Duke of Sussex is also currently working on a new book, which will be published by Penguin Random House. Prince Harry has come under fire for allegedly siding with the Devil's Root in relation to his memoir release. Royal reporter Rupert Bell issued this warning during his appearance at Talk Radio and was also quoted saying, I just think it is sad that he wants to drag his family through the dirt, it just feels wrong. If he is as loyal as he talks about in that documentary on Prince Philip, to the institution then this is not what he should be doing. In America, he may be going around and being fated left right and center as we saw in New York and every fawning at the feet of Meghan and Harry, well fine, get on with it. He also went on to say, but if he wants privacy, don't make your family have to go through this. If he wants to get on and cut his path with the family, don't do books. But now you have split from the family, why can't he just leave well alone? Unfortunately he has gone into these huge commercial deals and the people who he has done the deals with want something that will sell because they haven't come cheap. Before concluding, however, he admitted that it seems the prince is caught between the devil and the deep blue sea since unfortunately it appears he has taken the devil's route against the royal family. Experts recently called Prince Harry out for allegedly trying to distract the public from focusing on the non-profit charity work the monarchy is doing in favor of his upcoming memoir. The claim was brought forward by royal expert Dr. Edward Owens and in his interview he was quoted saying, it's perhaps a little thoughtless, maybe he hasn't thought it through very carefully. He is distracting attention away from the monarchy and that is the concern. Every time the royals are not at the center of the limelight, that's a concern. He also went on to speculate the chance that the firm is already laying anxiously in wait to counter whatever shadow Prince Harry's memoir may throw. Already there will be some anxiety at court. Of course they are going to be worried court.